So what I'm gonna do is show you how to impression a key in a lock. Now, I showed on another video how to make this soft key. And what I've done is I cleaned the key up, I filed it down. And if you haven't seen how to make a soft key, how to make a lead key, go back to my other video and watch it. And what I have here is a Ford five pin lock. Here's the key here. And now I'm gonna show you how to impression it. So you put the, your soft key all the way in, attach a pair of vice grips, and you need a pippin file or a round file to do this. So you put your key all the way in, wiggle it, do it slowly, don't jam it in. If you have to jam it in, you better take your key out and clean it up and make it all nice and flat and smooth. So what you do, Put your key in the lock and then you put some slight pressure on it and you wiggle it up and down take the pressure off put some more pressure on it and wiggle the key up and down take the pressure off and you do this a few times then you wiggle it make sure it's not binding anywhere and you wiggle the key out now i'm going to show you here you can see where the pins are marking. You can see right here, right here, and right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I marked a little bit number one, marked a number two, number three, and number five. So what you do is you take your file, I put my thumb there, and you just lightly, you want to do it hard because you'll wreck the, the soft metal. Actually this is the easiest way to learn how to impression a lock because the marks are so easy. If you didn't have a soft key and you're using a metal, just a regular metal blank, you'd need a, you'd need a magnifying glass, a jeweler's magnifying glass to see them marks. And what you wanna do is you just wanna file away those marks. Actually, there's a little bit of a mark in the, right there. And then put it back in the lock and do it again some pressure on, wiggle up and down, you can go back to, and when you're taking the key out, you want to wiggle it, because those pins can get seated down in there really well. And so I'll just show you here. So I see marks, one, two, three, None and five. So I just want to file those down. Just until you don't see those marks anymore. And just clean up your key. Sometimes the lead gets bent over. You want to clean it up here. Clean up the other side. again. Take this vice here. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. And you're going to have to wiggle your key out. Now that sound you hear in the background is snowing out today here in Canada. Someone's got their snowblower out. And that's not going to stop us from impressioning this key. And you just want to file away those marks so those marks disappear. I always like to clean up my key. See, I can't just pull the key out of the lock because the pins are binding there. So you gotta wiggle it back and forth this way and wiggle it up and down and get those pins to let loose of that key. If you just rip it out of the lock, you're gonna wreck your soft key. You have to start over from scratch.
and you just go through and you just keep filing up everywhere it marks if it doesn't mark don't file it and just keep going until you get the working key let's see Number five is really marking good now. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, that's it. If I can get it out, I'll file a few more times, get rid of those marks, and then Bob's your uncle, you got a working key. Look at that. So then what you want to do is take your working key and go duplicate it on to a regular key, both sides, put it back in the lock, and do the little impressioning thing again, the wiggle in the lock, if you have to. Sometimes you gotta cut a little deeper. Still a mark there. And that's how you make, that's how you impression a lock with a soft key.